Hello, my name is Molly Kellgren, Health Science Education Product Manager here at RealityWorks. Thanks for joining me today for a demonstration of our pediatric nursing mannequin. This is how your pediatric nursing mannequin will arrive on site at your location. So let's dig in. Okay, now that we have opened up our package and we've removed all the plastic and laid out all the components that come with a pediatric nursing mannequin, let's talk about them one by one. I, I can show you how to set up exactly what you need to do for um, all of the capabilities of the pediatric nursing mannequin. So what comes with it? You have your pediatric nursing mannequin torso. We have the legs that attach to it, and we'll show you how to attach those. We have pajamas. We have the interchangeable genitalia, so the entire chest plate comes off, and right now we're set up to be a female, but we can change it over to a male. We have a separate venipuncture arm. We have our fast fluid tower with simulated blood and the syringe that you need for cleaning purposes. We have the simulator box that you use when you're utilizing the CPR function of the mannequin. Some different wounds that can be replaced on the abdomen of the mannequin. And some items here, uh, a catheter, a nasogastric tube and a needle and a butterfly set. So that's what comes with the product when you get it, along with the handy carrying case that does have wheels on it for easy transportation. Now that we've unboxed the pediatric nursing mannequin, let's go ahead and take the first step, which would be to attach the lower leg to the rest of the torso. We'll do that by sliding the leg over the stump and lining up the holes that are located on both parts. Once we line up the holes, we'll insert the connector pin and then fit the screw on the other end and tighten using a flathead screwdriver. Our pediatric nursing mannequin is the size of a three-year-old child, and there are many different skills that can be practiced using this mannequin. So I want to remind you that the product comes with a quick start guide. This is a great resource for you to be reminded of the features and functionalities in the mannequin. It gives step-by-step -step instructions for using the mannequin, cleaning instructions, as well as a link to the included curriculum. So keep this in a safe place that you can refer back to it whenever you need. Now we've got his legs attached and we're ready to talk through some of the other functionality of the pediatric nursing mannequin. Let's start with changing out the genitalia. Very easy procedure. All you do is release the Velcro along the chest plate. Um, make sure your balloon, your little bladder is free and pull. And you're now free. You can remove the female genitalia. And now we have our male genitalia and we simply do that process in the reverse order. So we're gonna start at the bottom press the anal piece in place, put the bladder in place, and then just slide the whole chest plate up and attach the Velcro as you go. Included in the kit is a straight catheter to use on either the male or the female genitalia to practice catheterization skills on a, on a three-year-old body. So this mannequin can be used to practice CPR on a child. So we'll um, insert the included batteries into the simulator box, and then we will follow the quick start guide instructions for connecting the actual simulator box to the mannequin. So we have the batteries in, we can go ahead and connect using the lure locks to the tube coming out of the side of the body of the mannequin. Okay, we can use the switch on the back of the simulator once the batteries are in to turn the simulator on. And, um, you will see that you can use the simulator in either practice or test mode. When in the practice mode, students will be able to see the rate and depth of the compressions that they're giving to the simulator. If they are compressing either too deep or too shallow, the um, arrow indicator will be in the red zones. And if they're doing it just right, um, the arrow will indicate that by being in the green zone. 
Um, on the other side of the screen, it will have a numeric uh, value for the compression rate that the student is performing at. On the back of the simulator box, there's also a port that you can use for speakers or a headphone that you already have in your classroom. What you can do is uh, enable what we call a metronome noise. So if you plug in your speaker and there's a built-in metronome that um, will provide a ticking noise that indicates the correct rate um, that the compression should be given at. So that's a handy feature. Another option is the using the simulator in the test mode. So the test mode gives a student to count down to begin compressions, and then they just do the compressions while a timer runs. And when the timer runs out, they stop. Then they're given feedback about the rate and depth of their compressions that they completed during that test period. The third option on the screen is language, so you can switch between English and Spanish. All of the programming, the rates and depths are completely in line with the current American Heart Association CPR guidelines. The pediatric nursing mannequin has a fully articulating skeleton, so it's great for teaching and practicing range of motion exercises. It also comes with a selection of Velcroable wounds that can go on either set of in the chest plate. The pediatric nursing mannequin kit also comes with a separate phlebotomy arm. So let's take a moment and focus on that. The pediatric nursing mannequin also comes with a fast fluid tower to use to provide simulated blood for the IV training arm. So let's start with setting that up. Simply slide the two together. Insert the black piece to make sure that you have stabilization. And then in a separate container, we can take no more than 800 milliliters of water and mix it with the desired amount of the simulated blood powder to create your simulated blood. You can then pour that fluid into the container after you've closed all the clamps on your tubing so that you don't have any leakage. Once you've poured your simulated blood into the tower, you can place it on the fast fluid stand. Now we will connect our upper and lower tubing using the lure locks to the tubing on the arm. And we will connect the pulse bulb to the top most shortest uh, tubing that's on the system. To prime now the, all of the air out of the IV arm, you will disengage the clamps on the upper and lower tubing and allow the simulated blood to flow through the arm while it's lying flat on a table. Once all the air has been purged from the line, you can um, disengage the clamp on the pulse bul bulb section to have that Timed as well. Now your arm is ready to use for a number of different skills like phlebotomy, IV starts, and medication administration. The pressure from the fast fluid tower provides realistic flash when performing IV procedures. There are also deltoid, bilaterally, and vastus lateralis sites for intramuscular injection practice on your full mannequin. Other skills that can be practiced on the pediatric nursing mannequin include hair and face washing, sponge bathing, ear care and irrigation, oral and dental care, dressing, transfers, safe patient handling, and positioning. Your students can practice skills on the pediatric nursing mannequin using your own supplies, such as endotracheal intubation, ostomy care, bag removal and application, nasogastric feeding tube insertion, oral and nasal suctioning, and use of a bag valve mask. You can also insert an enema if you choose.
Be sure to consult the Quick Start Guide for information about how and when it's safe to use any liquids for these types of procedures, as well as for cleaning instructions. Thanks for joining me today for this demonstration of our pediatric nursing mannequin. If you have questions or need more information, please use the information on your screen to reach out. We're happy to help.